I was in Scotland at the weekend and I want to thank everyone who came along. Uh, really lovely to see you all and a really interesting chat and I'll just relay some of what we talked about here. We talked about the state of Scottish politics uh, and some lots of, of interesting points were made. And of course, Scottish, Scottish politics is dominated by the Scottish National Party, a, a party which I'm told is really unpopular but continues to win elections. And I think every Scot that I, I've spoken to, certainly for a long time, has told me how unpopular Nicola Sturgeon is. And my immediate thought is, well, she can't be that unpopular. She keeps winning. And some of the points that were made uh, to me at the weekend uh, are probably right on the money, actually. The reason for the SNP's success is that Scotland is so exhausted and tired of the Labour Party, uh, and they want rid of it. And they have replaced it, unfortunately, with what's equally bad or even perhaps worse? Is it possible to be worse than the Labour Party? Well, on a par with the Labour Party anyway. So north of the border, you still have the left-right divide, or what's left of it, uh, and instead of it being Labour versus Tory, it's SNP versus Tory. So it's the SNP we really need to go after in Scotland. And go after them, we will. Because the SNP is a party with that speaks with forked tongue. They talk about building a confident, independent Scotland, but desperately want to remain in the European Union. Now, I remember at the 2019 general election, one of their elected MPs, speaking after the result was declared, actually saying the words, we will build a strong, independent Scotland inside the European Union. Now, uh, do you see what I mean about speaking with forked tongue? But what the Scottish National Party is doing is exploiting Scottish patriotism, ironically, to destroy the identity of Scotland. Scotland is a very patriotic country. It's allowed to be a patriotic country. We all know that England isn't allowed to be patriotic, uh, but Scotland is. And the SNP know this and are exploiting it to the nth degree. They're offering an alternative to the status quo, and a pro-Scottish surface. But scratch under that surface, and there's no love of Scotland there at all. What it actually is, is hatred of England. They don't mind being dependent on Brussels, bowing down to Brussels. To them, it's preferable to being an integral part of Westminster. This is nothing but crude, anti-England hatred and the exploitation of the love of Scottish culture. And it's an exploitation that will lead to the demise of Scottish culture. Sturgeon and co want Scotland to become a woke refugee a haven and completely dismantle everything that makes Scotland Scotland. Now Nicola Sturgeon's own constituents are among the poorest in the UK but if you look on the SNP's website they seem to be ever more concerned about Syrians than they are about Scots. This is of course the typical left-wing globalist trying to impress their fellow left-wing politicians while not giving a damn about their own people. People. Sturgeon doesn't give a damn about her own people. The SNP don't give a damn about their own people. These are open borderites, these are woke leftists, and they will dismantle and destroy Scotland. So, what do we do? We are going to Scotland. We are going to present a different alternative to the status quo. We will present a perfectly patriotic party which will put the people of this country, all of the UK, first. In Scotland, that, must be, that means putting Scottish people first. We will present the truth, a real alternative to the craziness of Labour and the ineffectiveness in so many respects of the Tories. I mean, let's not forget that this is uh, the Tories are pro-migration as well. Let's never forget that, and let don't let's become comfortable with that. But it's not. We we must deal with Labour and the SNP. They are on the insane end of the spectrum. They are completely, completely disconnected from their own people, and they must be brought down. For Britain is coming to Scotland and we are coming for the Scottish National Party. How dare they? How 
dare they uh, appeal to love of Scotland in order to destroy Scotland. It's disgusting, it's immoral and we will confront it. If you're in Scotland and you want to stay in Scotland and not some multi culty nightmare, then get on board. Forbritain.uk. This is the party for you. This is the party that will save the UK, including Scotland.